Hey everyone, this is Reginald Stinson, and hopefully we are live. Well, we are live, so hopefully you all can hear me. I apologize. I am using a new platform, so uh, okay, cool. So everybody can see me. Um, tonight we're gonna do a special Q and A. Uh, here really quick. And I'm actually in my bedroom sitting on the floor right now because my wife is in the living room. So the other parts of the house is occupied. So I apologize for the camera quality. I don't have my high def camera hooked up tonight, but that's really not important. Um, I just want to uh, share with you all some value tonight that's going to potentially um, change the way that you do business online and change. Uh, your life it could could potentially change your life because basically what I'm going to share with you is exactly what I've done to uh, change mine. Now, as you can see here, guys, uh, I am a normal person. I am an everyday person uh, that originally had a dream. I was a frustrated, burned out network marketer uh, that jumped from company to company, thinking I was doing the right thing, chasing. Uh, multiple income streams, that type of thing, unfocused, um, had some success for the most part, uh, but I found that my team was not making any money, and that was uh, horrific for me because it didn't really feel comfortable, and it began to feel guilty in a sense because I had all these people on my team, but I was the only one making money. So that led me up to the point where I am now the last eight months, uh, nine months, or whenever it was, uh, prior to that, I was actually um, almost close to having to go back to get a get a job, and almost to the point to where I almost had to unretire my wife, which would not have been good. Um, we were living on savings. I actually went to go apply for a few jobs, um, got hired on one job, ended up walking off that job and throwing the stuff out the window <laughs> uh, because I didn't want to turn it in. Uh, this is a whole other story, and I just went to work. Okay, I was in a situation to where if this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to have some explaining to do to my wife as to why she has to go back to work, and I'm going to have to go back to work, so on and so forth. So I was at a point to where it was either do or die for me, and the strategies that I'm going to share with you tonight is exactly what I've done. I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. I'm not going to get too detailed about you know SEO or anything like that. But I'm going to share with you exactly what I've done to earn well over $200,000 in nine months. I went from living on savings, living on savings, taking money out of the savings account, exhausting our savings to $200,000 in eight months. And I'm here to tell you all that if I can do this, you can do this. There's nothing complex about this. You know, sometimes we have a tendency to overthink things. And it's not really even about that. So I'm going to share with you exactly what I did. First and foremost, uh, if you are someone else, I can't really tell how many people on here. All right. Uh, but for the most part, if you're here, first of all, um, and you're not in the company because I invited everybody. Um, the name of the company I represent is DS Domination. I'm not going to go over exactly what we do and all that. If you want to know more uh, about what DS Domination is, let me see if I can pull this up. Okay, you can click that link right there uh, to get more information. All right, you should see a pop up somewhere on there. At least I see it. So hopefully you see it as well that you can get more information about DS domination. Um, if you already in DS domination, do not click that link. All right, and do not opt into the website. All right, but that company pretty much changed my life. I actually joined with the intent of just selling on eBay. I didn't have any interest in recruiting anymore because I was burned out. I got tired of people not making money, got tired of the team build thing, and everybody broke. All right, um, but this company pretty much simplified making money online to a point to where I had to share it with people. You know, I felt like it, it was an obligation to share this with people and it, and it has turned into something magical. Not only do we have over 10,000 some people on our team, but everybody that comes in and follow our system makes some money. We have several other people that have made crossed over five figures, some 
30, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars already in commissions in less than a year, uh, which has never happened in any business I've been in. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I'm going to share with you a formula uh, exactly what I've done. And this may be basic and standard for some of you all veterans that are out there, but hopefully you're able to, to take something from this training tonight um, that would change your life and to really uh, help take your business to the next level. Now, here really quick, all right, as you see, I'm on Facebook. Now, everybody's on Facebook, all right, for the most part. Everybody on Facebook. Um, everybody knows about Facebook. But here's the thing about Facebook. Facebook is really... Um, it's probably one of the, the the top places for a marketer to advertise on. It's definitely the number one social media site in the world right now. Uh, but it's probably the number one place uh, for a marketer to market um, because it's so many people out here um, in the home-based business industry of people that are not there that are looking, that are on here socializing and they spend most of their day here. And, and when I started um, this Facebook account that I have here, some people think that I had all these friends and all this, you know, massive influence. But you have to remember, I have 4,200, basically 4,300 friends right now. All right. When I first started promoting my company uh, with this Facebook account, I only had 700 friends, roughly 700 friends. I didn't really have a whole lot of influence at the time because I was all over the place. Whatever credibility and influence that I had, guys, I pretty much lost it. I had to repair my reputation because I wasn't focused. So the first thing that you all need to do, if you um, are in DS Domination or any other company and you plan on attracting people, especially on social media, if you look at all, what all the people, let me see if I see something on here. Um, I'm not going to call anyone out, <laughs> maybe. But there's so much junk on Facebook, you're always going to be pitched and presented with an opportunity. So um, if you're in DS Domination especially, you have no reason to even entertain the thought of doing anything else because we have pretty much everything here. Um, but I understand some of you all may just be doing this part-time to supplement or you you know, you may be looking for something that's going to give you that immediate money that doesn't depend on you recruiting. So whatever the case scenario is, you have to be focused and when you're on social media, even if you're doing something else, you need to paint the picture um, that this is it. This is the main focus. This is the thing that I'm leading with. Because we're at a point right now in the industry to where people are tired of all the BS, the crap, the flip-flopping. They're tired of being dragged from company to company, people pitching new deals every week. They want somebody to not only that's going to keep it real with them, but also they're looking for stable leadership. And you're going to hear um, different things about this from different people. Some people agree with this, some don't. Um, but the reality is if you look at the documentation of those people that agree with this and the top income earners in the world in this industry, you know, even if they're doing other things, you only know them from one company and they're making several million dollars a year. And the people that are talking junk and saying, you can't control me, I want to do what I want to do, blah, 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 you know, their income only extends so far. It only goes so far. But if you really want to take it to the next level, if you really want to gain influence, if you want to gain the trust of people, then you have to be focused, especially on social media, all right? I only promote one business on social media. All right, I only promote one business, and that's DS Domination. All right, so the first thing that I did, all right, is number one, I didn't have a lot of money for advertising. People think I paid, you know, a whole bunch of money for traffic. No, I didn't. I didn't buy any traffic the first six months. All right, um, but what you need to do is basically, I think I was posting this stuff manually when I first got started. Actually, I was. I was posting stuff manually. Um, through, with Hootsuite, but I made a post every 30 minutes to an hour all day on Facebook. Now, if you don't have money, you're going to have to do this. It wasn't labor intensive because I was doing it from my phone for the most part. And if you be honest, we spend a lot of time on our cell phones anyway. Most people do. So I posted any result that I had in my business. For example, 
all right if I make five dollars okay five dollar profit on eBay okay I can do like this made a five dollar profit on eBay all right that sounds cool but with DS domination there's so many people if you look at most companies out there you're gonna have to recruit so what I would do is I will say without recruiting okay without recruiting the without recruiting attracts people then I do woohoo whatever don't and I may put something like don't miss your moment jump in the game with us now and then put my website link and the cool thing about this whenever you're marketing on Facebook you want to have your own domain name you want to forward and mask it you don't want to use an affiliate uh, domain name xyzcompany.com slash user slash xyz bubblehead slash sexy girl or whatever your username is don't do that just get a domain name it looks a lot more professional all right um, so um, get a domain name and post your link um, I will also have an image or something here uh, uh, to validate that eBay sell um, because again people say anything <laughs> online you know people lie all the time on Facebook and that's essentially not cool guys so to show proof that I made this sale, I will grab a screenshot, which I don't have any um, screenshots now. Uh, let me see here. Actually, I do have some. Let me go find something relevant. All right. So I will grab this picture. And where is it at? I got a whole bunch of old stuff in here. Um, okay, that's old, old. So give me one second. Let me see if I can find a picture here. Okay, I'm just going to grab this one. Uh, nah, not that one. going to grab... Uh, not that one. That's a lot of old stuff. Uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's what I made 19000 in one week. Okay. So I will grab that as proof or this one for example marketing our team members I will grab this okay and put this out there as well so any results any success whether it be your own or whether it be someone else I post it I do it from my phone I screenshot my phone and post it um, whenever something is going on in our Facebook group for example I'm gonna leave because I don't want to post that for real for example um, Cheyenne she make it making sales so if you're in DS domination which most of you all are or if you're not whatever your company is whenever there's a result you need to post it because here's the thing about people and here's the thing about life in general facts tell stories sell so if you want to close any sale then you need to tell stories of, of, of the of show tell stories of show stories and testimonials of how your business is effectively working for everyone else. Um, um, when I initially got started, um, I hardly ever posted any of my results, and that's the thing that a lot of that's holding you all back. You're you're thinking that you have to be the one that has results, and as you see, I have Jing J I N J, and I just kind of grab this and I just save it to the desktop, and I'm gonna post it. All right, and you can use Buffer app or Hootsuite. Hootsuite is free. Buffer is ninety nine dollars a year or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna see she making sales on eBay on Autopilot. 
without the recruiting. All right, and then I'll put something like this business simply rocks. Okay, something that'll catch the attention. Get in now, and I'll put my link new career at home.com all right and I was actually doing this from my phone so I'm not going to use any apps tonight to show you how to do this but you can use buffer or Hootsuite you can YouTube that stuff or go on our training website I think it's on our training website to learn how to use that I'm not going to show you that tonight all right um and then I will post it okay this is what I was doing for my phone all day and here's the psychology behind this, and here's why you want to grab mul multiple testimonials. Because again, people get tired of seeing the individual who is marketing a business talk about themselves all the time. Everybody does that, okay? That's getting old. Everybody expect you to make money, for example. They expect the person who's marketing the business to make money. But once you start marketing your team members, Hey, so and so made a sale. She is crushing it. You should get in with us now. You know, always do a call to action to to take a look at your offer. All right, say something catchy. So and so made a hundred and ninety one dollar profit on eBay without recruiting. You know, learn how she did it here. Website or phone number, whatever. You know, always do a call to action. Um, when you promote your team members, it will grab uh, the attention of more people than it would if you were just talking about yourself all the time. Now, every now and then, yeah, you do want to throw your own testimonials in there to show that you're having results, but especially when you're new, you're not going to have anything to promote but other people, and I found that promoting other people works better than me promoting myself. All right, so this is what I, I do all the time. I did this about 15 to 20 times a day, every 30 minutes to every hour, and the reason why I did that is because when you post on Facebook, for example, this post right here, if it's not a paid ad, it's only going to be seen by a hundred of my friends, probably. Only a hundred people are going to see this. And it all depends on what time of the day they sign on Facebook. So um, each time you post a post, randomly, you know, each one of your friends see it. Not the same hundred see every post. So if I'm posting every single hour, guys, that means that a fresh set of eyes are always looking at, you know, when I'm posting on my Facebook wall. And I'm sharing stories and sharing, you know, the results for other people. So that's going to grab the attention of people. Also, what I do is I interact with other people. For example, Sheree just posted something about some turkey burger or something. So even though she's in my company, I'm going to pretend like she wasn't, okay? I would go in there and say, hey, that looks delicious okay just interact you don't have to be on Facebook you know two or three hours you know this probably take me like 30 minutes I find some random posts I may go and like some stuff by some other people um, comment on stuff that makes sense for me to comment on I'm not gonna comment on everything alright but only stuff that makes sense to me okay because it's a social network site so you want to be social you know you, you want to receive, but also you have to give. And what you're giving is a few minutes of your time to comment on someone else's post and show some love. By doing that, okay, by me commenting on Sheree Wall, that's going to prompt her to be like, hey, who is this Reginald dude? Okay, and then she's going to click on my name because I always do this. Uh, I know I do this personally. I'm pretty sure all you all can agree that if someone comment on your wall that you don't hardly ever hear from, you're going to be like, hey, who is this John dude or whatever? Then you're going to go on their wall and be like, okay, okay, I see their pictures. You probably go through their pictures and stuff to see who they are. And you're going to uh, look on their wall and see what they got going on. All right? And that's what happened with me. And that's how I signed up over 200 and something people uh, in five weeks, roughly. All right? By doing that, okay? Posting 15 to 20 times a day going into the Facebook group, okay, and I ask people, hey, if you're having results with this company, please post a screenshot and how much profit you made. All right, I'm going to do that again for just since we're doing this webinar. If you're 
having results with this business, please post screenshots and the amount of profits you made. Please also lock out customer info because you can't show customer information and item names and eBay usernames. Let's write it out and hit each other. By promoting each other stories. All right. And that's it. Now, if you're in another company, okay, it's, it's probably going to be a little bit different. Uh, for you, you may say something a little different. But for the most part, that's all we did. And we just grabbed a testimonial when somebody posted because everybody's pretty much making money every single day. Most people anyway. So grab a screenshot. Post it or set it up in Hootsuite. And I'm saying Hoot. Hootsuite, which is free. Dot com. You, again, you can go on YouTube to find out how to use this. I'm not going to go over it. That's free. There's a mobile app for that. And you can do Buffer. I like Buffer better, personally. But you do have to pay for it, all right, to get all the features. There is a free option, but I don't even know how many um, posts and stuff you can set up, but I just went ahead and paid the hundred dollars a year for it because it's worth it. And that's pretty much it. All right. That's all I did as far as social media. And a lot of people um, don't believe it. They think it's so complex guys. It's all about consistency and repetition. You know, most people start out doing this. All right. But then they stop. Okay, their why is not strong enough. Their why is not making them produce. Because if you're in a situation to where you need money, all right, things are desperate. And I was in that situation. I was in that place. And you may not even be in that place right now. But you don't want to allow things to get to the point to where you have to do that. All right, you should want to do it right now because, you know, things can change any day for you for the most part. But I was in a place to where my why made me produce, not your why making you cry. You know, I'm so sick of people saying that. Your why should make you cry. So what? What is crying going to do? Crying is not going to solve any problems last time I checked. You, you know, you may re but release some stress and some, some, uh, some emotional stress and things like that. Um, but crying is not going to solve any issues or any problems for you. Your why should make you produce. And, and when it, when your why make you produce, I'm talking about produce consistent, consistently. And again, people start out doing this method that I teach, but they never finish it. Okay, they stop. They only post five times a day or three times a day, and they wonder why they're not getting any results on Facebook. It's because you're not consistent enough to get results on Facebook. Now I'm to a point to where I don't have to post like I, I did initially because people are just kind of checking me out now okay uh, and the reason why they're doing that is because I created a following by being stable okay stable leadership being honest and a lot of other things and giving value okay once you do that you're gonna gain influence you're not gonna have to post as much um, another thing that I've done especially now is um, I promote post now, some of you all may not have this on your Facebook wall. It, it all depends on your Facebook account. I have no idea what the requirements are for you to get this, um, but mine has always been here. And I promote posts. Now, I don't promote every single last post, but if it's something like this, showing a result from a team member, or if I have a $19,000 a week, for example, something that's going to grab the attention of people who see this, then... I will promote the post, which I'm going to do this live on here. And it's only $6.99. So uh, when I first got started, I only did about five of these a week. Okay. Um, 
I'm intuitive. I'm a risk taker. Okay, so five of these a week, that's roughly $35 a week in advertising. So if you want to say paid advertising, that's pretty much um, all I did. Okay, so I promoted the post. And when you promote a post, guys, now this takes your post to a whole nother level. Because instead of this one post um, only being seen by 100 people, for example, out of this 4,200, now this post is going to be seen by all 4,200 people if they sign in on Facebook. All right? So if all 4,200 sign in on Facebook, all of them is going to see this post. And in some instances, their friends are going to be able to see this post as well. So that's the benefit of doing this. Now, with the friends that I have, every single last time that I, I do a post, I always get a sign up from this post. So with our company on the on the entry level product, you know, you make nine dollars a referral. Okay. So I always, you know, in profit every time I do this. And I get tons of leads. Okay. I, I get anywhere from 10 to 15 leads every time I promote a post. Um, so um, that's pretty cool, guys. And there's other advanced stuff you can do on there. Uh, but that pretty much covers that. So let me uh, go back to the chat. And do you all have any questions about that? Do that make sense at all? Okay. Did that make sense to you all? Y'all can type in the chat box. I don't see the chat box moving, so I don't know if it's working or not. Um, let me see here. Did it make sense? Did it make sense? Let me see. Can you uh, see this? Thank you, Tyrone, because I'm like, am I talking to myself? Did I lose everybody? <laughs> All right. Oh, maybe it took a while for this to catch up. All right, so that's all I did. That's pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's so simple. So simple to the point to where it's scary. And I'm going to um, scale this up a little bit higher. All right. So simple is scary. All right. So the next thing that I did, all right, this is another critical piece. We're going to get off Facebook. Well, I guess I can keep it open in this window. But the next thing is, guys, you absolutely need to have an autoresponder. If you don't have an autoresponder and you plan on building a business online, you're fooling yourself. You're, you're fooling yourself and you're cheating yourself because you're leaving a whole lot of money on the table. You're losing leads, all right? Because your leads pretty much is the lifeblood of your business. Everybody is not going to sign up the first time they see your offer. So I don't care how broke you are, you need to find a way to get an autoresponder. Even when I didn't have any money, guys, this is one thing that I learned from my mentors that I absolutely you know, needed to have. You know, without an autoresponder, you have nothing. It's kind of like, um, I don't, I don't know, real. I guess I can say real estate or any type of sales business. You know, they have leads and contacts um, that they generate that they follow up with on a constant basis to try to close a sale. All right, it's the same thing with an the autoresponder. Um, these are leads and contacts that I had for years, guys. I have over eighteen thousand in this one autoresponder. And I had these leads for years. And just about every company I've been in, I've used the same autoresponder, which you see here. And these are all the subscribers that are on my list until they decide they want to remove their self, like these people did right here, which I don't really care. I don't worry about people unsubscribing, guys. Uh, don't you know get all shook up when somebody unsubscribed because that only makes room for people who deserve to be on your list. All right? <laughs> um, but... You want to have this because everybody is not going to join right away. And um, this gives you an opportunity to follow up with your people. Now, of course, you know, you have autoresponders, which is cool, guys. I love autoresponders, um, but also I don't really care for them at the same time. Now, that's kind of like having a double standard. 
But what I'm saying is, is that this can be a crutch for a lot of people because some people just rely on the autoresponders and don't do anything else. Um, I'm giving you basic fundamentals here that's going to teach you how to be a professional marketer in a sense. So this is cool, and most people can tell, you know, if it's an autoresponder because it doesn't sound like you is not personable. And if they opt into someone else list um, on in DS Domination, for example, they're going to see the same messages, especially if you're on our team, if you don't change the message. So if you do have autoresponders, I recommend that you tweak these messages to fit your personality or add to the messages. You can add to them and mix them up. You can do whatever. But put your personality in this. Um, a way to kind of test what's going to um, convert better would be, for example, well, free training. You see 903 people open, 333 click. That's good because I just sent that out today. So if this was a different subject, for example, I would probably add this to the autoresponder, even though this was a manual broadcast. I sent that out manual. Um, this one got 100K opens. This got 100K opens, 250 click. So I probably add this to the autoresponder or whatever. But here's the thing, guys. With your autoresponder, first of all, before I get into the technical aspect of it, let me go to the marketing system. Um, if you're not in DS and not on our team, you know, you can kind of save this for future reference. Let me see here. I forgot my password. Um, and okay, I remember that one. So here's the thing, guys. If you're in um, on our team, so many people are making a mistake with this uh, because they're not watching the video entirely or something. But here's the thing, guys. Um, under step, where is it at? Eight. All right. Some of you all are getting too impatient. I know you are, and not watching the video entirely. You skipping through it or doing something. I don't know what you're doing, but you're not watching the video entirely because you're missing the most important step, and that's at the end of this video. All right. But you want to pause and do this at the same time. But here's the thing. Here's what people are messing up at. Um. Aweber campaign name. The campaign name should be different from what you see here. All right, your campaign name is going to be different with Aweber or any other autoresponder you decide to use. We have three drop downs or whatever, but we only have support for Aweber as far as videos and stuff is concerned. So, what you want to put there is the actual name of the campaign you create for DS Domination. So if yours is DSD Rocks 205, that's what you're going to put here. DSD Rocks 205 is essentially the list name, which you can click on Manage List, of the list that you created for DS Domination or any other company for that matter. You're going to uh, put it in here. All right. Well, not any other company for this instance, DS Domination. Put it in here and save it. It's really that simple, but make sure you watch the video entirely. But that's uh, that will help some people out there that were having issues. Also, when you create a um, list name, make sure you do not put any spaces um, in your list name because it's not going to work. All right, with anything if you do that, don't put any spaces in your list name. All right, now going back to what I was talking about, broadcast. Broadcast is simply simply an email that you send out manually to your list and this goes out in conjunction with the autoresponder messages now when you're doing this do not worry about people cussing you out because you are going to get cussed out every now and then do not worry about people unsubscribing because people are going to unsubscribe that means that you're doing something right uh, and don't worry about if people complain they're going to complain um, but you don't want to send no more than two emails a day. If you got an autoresponder going out, that's fine. But I send out two additional emails aside from that. I don't go over that. Or you can just get rid of the autoresponders and do two manual emails a day. Because these emails are only going out nine days anyway to each subscriber. And after that, they don't get any more messages. <laughs> so 
um, if you're not constantly feeding your list information, then they're going to forget about you. And you want to mix in a combination of things. Like tonight, I'm doing a free training for everybody pretty much on my list just for them being my subscribers, which means that you know I'm giving value. And you all can do the same thing. It's called giving value, not necessarily selling something all the time you know, without actually teaching people something. And giving value can be something um, that you learn tonight. You can turn around and create a YouTube video about, you know, um, you know, uh, marketing on Facebook, for example, and send it out to your list. We have a blog as well, guys, that you can add content and stuff to. All right, which I'm gonna show you that here. Okay, you have a blog that you can put content on. All right, and when I say put a video on a blog, this is what I did. I I created a video about. DS domination helping me pay off student loans, for example. And here's a video and a call to action below the video. Always have a call to action um, on your blog post, for example. Um, but send out two emails a day. Um, I recommend that you do one in the morning, probably between seven and nine o'clock in the morning, and one email in the evening between five and eight o'clock Eastern. All right. Uh, those are the best time to email, and and it, it all depends on you know like if you promote a webinar or something, you may want to get the get the email out a little bit earlier than that. Um, but that's how I email. Um, if there's like a Google Hangout, for example, then the Google Hangout, you know, I may send one in the morning, one in the evening, uh, depending on the response I'm seeing from people actually getting on there, or I may just send it in the evening as a reminder. Okay, put reminder live hangout tonight with six figure income earners, for example. And I may send it two hours prior to the event or an hour and a half prior to the event uh, so that people can get on there because sometimes people forget. Um, but you want to send an email a day. Your first email can be a sales email. Um, let me see if I can find something here. Um, let me see here. Find some old. Let's see. For example, here is one. Hate Facebook spam. Do you hate Facebook spam? Check out my latest blog post on how to prevent it from happening to you. All right. This is not a sales video at all. I did a I did a, a short tutorial on how to stop people from spam tagging you on Facebook. And again, this is just giving value because if people see you as an expert, if they feel like they can learn something from you, even if it's something as simple as that or something as Simple as this, because some of you all probably on here like, hey, I already know that, but I'm pretty sure most of you all are not doing this consistently, though. But you're probably like, yeah, I already know how to do that stuff. But there's a lot of people that don't know how to do what I'm teaching right now, all right, that you can turn around and teach the same exact thing, guys. Most of you all are on my team. Teach the same stuff I'm teaching you. It's, Hello, it's your responsibility. If you're smart... Uh, which all of you all are, to teach the same thing I'm teaching you to other people. If you do that, guys, you're going to gain influence and you're going to help your teams, which is ultimately going to help yourself, and you're going to make a lot of money. Now, here's the video I did, okay, on this, okay, which is pretty cool. People love the video, showing them how to, you know, stop people from, from tagging, spamming them in pictures. Pretty cool, guys. Um, going back to another sample, uh, let me see here, and did you get my message last night? Uh, you know, you want to have a catchy title to get people to open the email, of course, which I'm not going to teach about titles tonight. We'll do that in another training. Um, but... Anything to get people to open. If you're on someone's list, if you're on my list, copy my emails. All right? That's what I did until I learned how to write copy myself. And I'm still not the best copywriter, but I just share my heart. I beat myself in my emails, and they convert. Uh, for example, Ford. You know, even though this is annoys people, people still open these. Okay? It may be annoying, but believe it or not, folks still open these. And what I did was... Uh, secrets to getting your bank account to look like this. 
any type of result, guys. And I took a screenshot of my bank account and I put it in here and I put your results may vary. Anytime you talk about income or post pictures about income, you have to give an income disclaimer. Your results may vary. All right, because you don't want to get in trouble with the government. Okay. Um, but you want to say your results may vary. These results are not typical, whatever, because they're not. I had to work my butt off to be able to do this. And, you know, I go to next, which I'm going to send this off again. And I send a message, but I'm going to change the title. All right. And that's pretty much it. Let me go over here really quick. Uh, I answer questions in a minute. Here's the secret. Okay. And when you are sending out stuff like this, uh, what you want to do is let me log back in here. You want to make sure you do not have them opt in twice unless you're having people opt in to something completely different. But if people are already on one of your mailing list, do not have them go to a capture page from an email that you send them. That is so tacky. Uh, and it doesn't make any sense because if you have autoresponders, different autoresponders set up, you, they're going to be getting um, flooded with emails from you. So what you need to do is you need to send them to a sales page. If you're on our team in DSD, what you would do is log into the system, click on view landing thank you pages, and just choose one of these pages with, with a video on it. You got one, two, three, or you even have the Google Hangout page here um, that I send out replays of the Google Hangout as well. Uh, but I'm going to grab this, okay? And then I'm going to come back over here, and I'm just going to grab this, click that, and paste that like that. All right, and then I'm going, you can also in Aweber click on the picture and then put your link there as well for the image link. Okay, and what that means is, once there's a green check mark, that means that the link is validated, but what that means is if people click this link, I mean click the picture in the email, the, the link, the picture is clickable and it's going to open up your website link. Next thing you can do, you can put it on social media, which, you know, I don't do that all the time. And if you have several email lists uh, with Aweber, the beauty of this, guys, even though you're in DSD or some other company, if you're on here, not in our company, you can create several different email lists for different things that you may be doing or different offers that you may be promoting or for your team in DSD or whatever you have. You can have several mailing lists set up in here. So... I want all of the people to get this email except my DSD team because they're already in DS domination. So I'm not going to send them a promotional email about DS domination. Doesn't make any sense. But everybody else, all the other email lists that I have built over the years um, from the different companies that I was involved in, I'm going to check to include them, which it highlights everybody. And I'm going to uncheck um, the ones that I don't want to receive this. And as you see, I have Solovey stuff here. I'm not in Solovey anymore. I'm not in Wake Up Now anymore. I'm not in Z and Z. But these are all mailing lists that I had over the years that I'm going to send this to. And that's the beauty of this, having an autoresponder, guys. If you decide to do something else, you still have a list to market to. Every subscriber on your list is worth at least a dollar a piece. At least if you monetize your list right, if you emailing your list two times a day, if you're giving value, you know, you know, you don't have to give value every single day, but a couple times a week, guys, you're gonna make a ton of money. I have 18,000 subscribers on my list. Um, I make double that monthly. Okay, double that, I almost triple that monthly, because I've learned how to effectively monetize my list. 
Now, I can almost guarantee you that when I send out this email, because I generate new leads every single day, that I'm going to get a sign up from it. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and send this off. You can also schedule it. For example, if you're scheduling emails in the morning, you can schedule it to go out at a particular time. Let me see if this is going to work. Uh, something that's going on here. Okay, you can click the schedule button for some reason, A, wherever it's doing something weird. Let me see if I can. Oh, there it is. You can schedule for later. You can choose the date that you wanted to go out. Like I can do Thursday, 9 p.m. or whatever. You can actually do all this in one day. Write all your emails and set them up for the whole week, for example. All right, but I'm not going to do that because I just sent the email out. All right, so let me leave that. So remember, guys, two emails a day keep the JLB away. I learned that from a multimillionaire, Dagan Smith, and I followed that motto for the most part. Two emails a day to my list. One can be a value-based post in the morning. The other one can be something selling your opportunity in the evening or selling your product, your service, whatever you're selling in the evening. Um, you're not going to be able to get value every day, probably. All right, um, so you may do two sales videos, I mean two sales emails um, in a day, you know, five days out of the seven days a week, and the other two days you give value or whatever it is, but just mix it up. Um, also, put testimonials in your email. Um, whenever something happens, take a screenshot, put it in your email, and send it off to your list. Uh, whenever you're having a live opportunity meeting or a live hangout, Email your list, guys. It's all about promotion. That's all, that's really that's all what sales is about. That's all what internet marketing and network marketing is about. It's all about promotion. The people who become good at inviting people to events and promoting their opportunity are the ones who go on to make the most money. Plain and simple. Those who become a professional inviter, a professional promoter. All right. Anytime something is happening, like for example. Google Hangout, all right? We do those Mondays and Sunday. Email your list. That's what your list is there for. Some of you all are not emailing your list at all. Some of you all may not even have a list. If you don't have a list, you need to go in the system and get AWeber now, <laughs> okay? Go and get it. It's step seven in the system so that your sponsor gets credit for referring you to AWeber, guys. And, it, and you know, it has a little income attached to it. But that's not the reason why we're promoting this. But it's because it's valuable. It's, it's probably the most it's the most valuable commodity um, to your business. It's an autoresponder. Without this, you don't have a business. Without leads, you have no business. And I just sent out a message to eighteen thousand people. Do you think what are the odds of me signing up one person? Because I'm adding new subscribers to my list every single day, and I haven't really done any marketing today, seriously. And I'm still getting thirty, you know, to forty leads a day on autopilot. All right, because of all of this stuff I've done on Facebook and in the next steps that I just showed you. So um, is this making sense, guys, about the two emails a day, promoting the events, promoting the Google Hangouts and stuff like that? You want to promote them even after the event is over. If there's a webinar replay, um, if, uh, if there's a Google Hangout replay, which there always is a Google um, Hangout replay, okay, the Hangout uh, replay is up li literally an hour after the event is over, for example. You want to send this to your list again because someone may not have gotten your email. They may have not opened it at that time. You never know what's going on in people's life. Um, and I learned that people have to see your stuff several times before they decide to take action. Now may not be the right time for them. You know, and it may take years for some people to actually join you in something. I had these people on my list for years. And a lot of them uh, didn't decide to do business with me until I joined DS Domination because they didn't like the other stuff I was doing, obviously. Okay, um, So you can market anything you want to your list. If there's some type of affiliate product, some Facebook marketing course or whatever, you can send that to your list. It's pretty much a space to where you can make income on demand uh, when you have a mailing list, guys. So um, it's, it's all that making sense before I get to the next part. Okay, let me go back over here. Okay. 
yes, this is really affiliate marketing training. I guess I should have told you all that. And I'm sitting in the dark. I don't have the light on. Hold on a second. Let me put this on screen share so I can turn some light on up in here. All right, so I, I'll let you all type. I'll be back. All right, so let me. All right, that's better. All right, this is affiliate training. All right, and if you in DS domination, guys, and you're not an affiliate, then um, you need to become an affiliate. You're you're cheating yourself, and you don't have to. There's no pressure at all. And I see somebody talking about their sponsor. Don't worry about your sponsor, guys. You have the Facebook group. That's why we do training sessions like this. I know we haven't um, done this in a while because we we were doing a six week boot camp, but now we're not doing anything um, that's exclusive to a certain group of people right now. So we're back doing these type of trainings. You have a Facebook group. We have a training website that we're that's live now, and we're actually redoing it to make it more simplified. Um, so you don't uh, need your sponsor, guys. Plug into the trainings. That's all you need. The best autoresponder, the best autoresponders, the best two out there is either Aweber or Get Response. But I recommend Aweber um, because I'm more familiar with it, honestly. Um, I like get response. Get response is good too, uh, but for some reason it seems like they're having issues with email going out late, um, as of late. So um, I haven't really been recommending them a whole lot. But either Aweber or Get Response. So don't worry about your sponsor though. You don't need your sponsor to be successful with this. All right, but you, if you're not an affiliate, you need to become an affiliate, guys, because um, you you're able to create more leverage in your business um, with you not being an affiliate the cool thing about this business is um, that you don't have to recruit and your check is not necessarily dependent on you recruiting here you can make money anytime you want on eBay and Amazon okay and it's about to get a whole lot easier on the Amazon side however I love people all right, I love building teams and communities, and I, and I understand leverage. So, if I want to take time off, for example, and not do anything, okay, I have a team of people that are working that I've built the organization. That if I decide not to do anything for a year, I'm still going to make money because I've built the team. It's called leverage, okay? Time leverage. You make money without doing anything at all without posting anything on Facebook, without searching and researching on Amazon. There's nothing wrong with that, but you want to have income coming from everywhere. And this business is so simple. It's not like you selling something, baby wipes or some shake or something. And I'm not knocking that stuff, but this is not a hard sell. All right. It's, it's super easy. Most people understand it. And compared to uh, comparing this to anything else I've done, like I said, I've never seen people so responsive to anything um, uh, as they was to Diaz domination. Okay, they've they've been super responsive to this, so it's not a hard thing to do. So become an affiliate um, and start sharing with people. It's all about just sharing information. You don't have to sell anything; just share with them the information. Use the tools that we have, and the tools are our Google Hangouts. Okay, you can invite people to a Google Hangout just like you would invite them to a party, and you can't see my screen, so let me switch it back. Um, wait a minute. Okay, uh, invite them to a Google Hangout like you invite to a party, um, and check it out. Okay, those Google Hangouts convert because it's all stories. We're not selling. Hey, you know, do DS domination because you this and DS domination do this, blah blah blah. You make money this way. We don't do that. You, it's all about testifying, sharing your testimonials, um, which all of you all, especially all of you all, if you're new to the game and you're making sales, even if you're not new and you're making sales, you need to be on a Google Hangout. 
all of you all should be breaking your necks to get on the Google Hangout panel. Here's why, guys, because it's exposure. It's all about marketing. It's all about exposure. Just imagine if you invite somebody to a Google Hangout and they see you on the panel. Do you know how far that's going to go with that prospect? They're going to be like, wow, I can't believe he, uh, he or she is on there. I want to sign up with them or whatever. It's going to also get you comfortable with speaking in front of people, even though you're not necessarily standing in front of a crowd of people. You know, you're just sitting in front of your computer and talking. But it, it, it's, it prepares you for the greater good, guys, because, again, if you want to make a lot of money, especially in network marketing through team building, guys, you got to get uncomfortable initially. And you have to, when called upon, be ready to come in front of the room, guys. And being on the Google Hangout, sharing your story, you know, it's not a whole lot to ask for. And, it, and it's a way of for you to give back to the community and to the team as well uh, through what uh, through for all that we've given you. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. Uh, so everybody should be trying to get on there. It's so many people that want to get on there. and So many people taking this for granted, guys. But I'm telling you, this stuff works. OK, and it helps out everybody collectively when we have fresh faces on the Google Hangout. So we have the Winning Women Network Hangout on uh, Sunday and we have uh, the regular Hangout with the men and women on Monday. We shouldn't have to pull teeth. Hey, get on the Hangout. You scared. What you scared of? You scared to make money? You scared to change the quality of your life? Because essentially, that's what that's preparing you for, guys. So don't be afraid. Get on the Hangout. All right. Um, so going back, like I said, promote the Hangouts. Invite them to a Hangout. Invite them to take a look at the video, then answer questions. I don't answer questions until they see the video or until they attend a webinar. I don't. Even if they watch the Google Hangout and they have questions, I acknowledge their questions. Hey, John, that's a great question, buddy. But here's what I need you to do. I need you to check out this eight-minute video. It's going to answer most of your questions. And after that point, um, if you have anything uh, else uh, that you would like me to cover, if you have any questions at that point, then I can address those questions then. But don't get into answering a whole lot of questions if a prospect haven't seen anything, guys. This, I mean, you're setting yourself up for epic failure You know when you do that. You set yourself up for failure, and the person who is um, asking the questions, not answering, but the person who is asking the questions is the person, the, the one who is in charge. Remember that. All right? So don't do it. Send them to the information. I don't answer questions until they see the video. I never did, never will, uh, because it doesn't make any sense. You know, the information is there. If they don't have the time to look at an eight-minute video, I don't have the time to talk to them, plain and simple. I don't care who they are. You have to have posture. You need what I have. Even if you broke us all, get out. You only have 50 cents in the bank. You have to remember that you still have a vehicle and an opportunity that can change their life. And if they don't have the time to look at an eight-minute video, then you don't have the time to talk to them. There's plenty of other people out there that are ready and willing to follow the necessary steps to look at the opportunity that you have, guys. So don't allow people to intimidate you because they may have a, a larger resume or a longer resume than you and even if they have more money in the bank than you it doesn't matter guys it's a it's a even uh, it's a even playing field here okay people are just people at the end of the day so um that's it now the next and final thing that I did is YouTube and I was supposed to be done in an hour but it looked like I'm gonna go an hour and a half um doing videos guys you see how I'm sharing my screen right now you know, I just showed you some stuff on how to email and Facebook. I'm pretty sure you all are on different people mailing lists like top marketers who send out, you know, value-based videos every day. Now, this video here that I did, uh, three reasons people fell in the home-based business, businesses, was actually inspired by Ray Higney. He sent out something. Um, I forgot what it was. So I just created my own video because I had some ideas come in my head. And I created my own video and created my own title. All right, but it's, it was inspired by something he said. All right, I didn't copy exactly what he did, but I, I kind of emulated him in a sense to where, hey, I'm putting out you know something similar to what he did. All right, and I post these videos on Facebook because you want a mixture of things going on on Facebook. You don't want to have you know all 
promotional stuff all the time. I mix in the family photos and stuff like that as well. Um, I mix in the value-based videos. And if you look at what I did, I wish I could go back. Let me see if I can go back. If you look at what I did eight months ago, guys, it was straight massive action on Facebook. Uh, some people probably said I was spamming my own wall, which I don't care. I can spam my own wall as long as I don't spam nobody else. That's fine. Um, but it was massive action, straight content, Google the Hangout videos, my videos, you know, giving value, um, showing results. Even if you make $20, guys, shoot a video on it. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't understand why people think that they have to make this astronomical amount of money before they can start sharing their results. And I'm, I'm here to be honest with you. Most people don't care about that. There are some people that do, but the majority of the people who are going to be in your organization anyway don't. So do you want to attract the masses or are you just going for the big fish all the time? You're going to get the big fish eventually, but in the beginning, guys, you're going to attract people who may not have a whole lot of influence. And they just want to see results. They want to see stuff that's realistic to them. Um, and they want to see that you present the opportunity in a way to where, hey, I can do that. That's obtainable for me. That person made $100 uh, that, that day. That person made $500 that week. You know, everybody is not going to be able to receive, you know, somebody making $10,000 in one week initially. Okay, it's, it's a process. And a lot of people don't see themselves uh, being able to do that. So whatever your result is, guys, I'm telling you, this is a million-dollar tip. I'm not even a millionaire yet, but I guarantee you I will be one. But this is a million-dollar tip. You need to write this down. Whatever result that you're getting in your business, whether it's $5, $10, $20, or whatever results that your team members are getting, by you promoting that, you want to promote it, plain and simple, promote it. Promote it on Facebook. Promote it on YouTube. Create content. It's all about creating content. The more people see your face, the more famous you become online. Okay? You're going to be an internet rock star. That's what it's all about. All right? And you're going to create leverage. And, you know, initially, it may be a slow build for you all because you're in the process of building your audience, you know, building the following, gaining influence, so on and so forth. But eventually, guys, I'm telling you, the floodgates are going to open. All right? People are going to seek after you. So, um, whatever result that you have in business, whatever result that your team member have, promote it. Fa a Facebook, screenshot photos, and video. And you want to take all of those things and share it on social media. Create a blog post. Um, put it on a blog. Let me see here. Let me show you uh, this one. Put it on the blog. All right. Whatever it is, even the Google Hangouts, you can take the Google Hangout video and put it on your blog, guys. Um, the, I want a TV from DS Domination. Um, this is something that people don't typically talk about when they win stuff. It's all about being social. You're painting a picture. Okay, it's kind of like you are making your own movie online, essentially. Okay, you're the star. So you have to share with people and paint a picture of what it is that they're looking at. I want a TV. I shot a video about it. Any result in um, pertaining to business. Jen Glenn did a video. That's on my blog. Um, you see, I forgot this lady name right here, but she, I forgot what she did. She had this uh, sob story about her not making money or whatever, and now she's making money with DS Domination. I earned $1,100 in profits. I shot a video. Um, this is when I first got started. I made $900 in five hours. I shot a video. Okay, it's all about putting content out. The more consistent you are with that and the more aggressive you are with that. Here's a $400.98 commission from Amazon. I shot that. You see these deposits, when I first got started, even though there's a whole lot of them, they, they were not as big as they are now. But you see $498, $932, $800. You know, now I, I don't take out nothing less than $1,000 now. Um, every day, but now you see 800, 900, 500, 1300, whatever. Shoot a video, shoot a video, post a screenshot. People want to see results. All right. If an idea come up, hey, you know, I found out this cool trick. Uh, you can do a case study. You know, you can be like, hey, I did this cool trick. 
on eBay and look at what happened in 24 hours. I have 45 sales or whatever overnight. All right. And then you want to give a disclaimer. Your results may vary. But if you want to learn how I did that, check out my video. I always do a call to action. But you get the point, guys. It's all about painting the picture and sharing your results and taking massive action consistently over time. Consistently is the key word because some people start doing this and then for whatever reason they stop because their why, okay, their why isn't strong enough to make them produce. And each and every day that I wake up, I produce like my life depends on it because I have a family to provide for. You see my family here, okay? You see my family. If I don't produce, I let them down as a man, and we're probably homeless. <laughs> so uh, I have to produce daily, all right? So whatever it is that's going to keep you going, guys, that's what you need to do. Don't stop crying. Stop all this crying about your why, okay? Get the Kleenex and go out there and produce. Like my, my coach say here, shut up and produce, all right? Plain and simple, produce. Because we get paid for the results that we produce in our business. So um, when shooting videos, like I say, guys, you don't necessarily have to always be in front of the camera. I'm comfortable with that. But you can do um, stuff with Camtasia. Let me see if I can pull up our training sites. Well, I'm not going to. Oh, well, I guess I will. Let me see. Unit training .com. All right. But I'm comfortable with that. Let me go back to YouTube. But also, uh, I quit my job. I talked about my story. I told my story. Um, I was listening to a, a personal development video, so I shot a video. Doesn't have a whole lot of views, but I got some sign-ups. Harry Face Man addresses DS Domination Hater. People hating on our company, so I talked about that. Wasn't really negative. Um... DS Domination helped us buy two cars. Okay, we bought two brand new cars. I shot a video about that. Um, DS Domination helped us buy our first new car ever when we bought our truck. That was the first brand new car we ever bought, and we've been married almost 10, well, we've been, we've been married 10 years. We never owned a brand new car ever. We always got cars from the tote the note places. I'm pretty sure you, some of you all can relate. Tote the note. Some of those um, import cars that have been wrecked and rebuilt and all that. Those are the type of cars we used to drive. But now because of DS Domination, we were able to buy two brand new cars. Here's the first video. Shooting a video inside the car. It's all about lifestyle. When when, when I was at the movies, I shot a video. Uh, when I was at um, uh, an Atlanta event with the team members, I shot a video at the event. And I took pictures. Because it's all about lifestyle. You're selling the lifestyle of freedom. If you're free, if you're able to do things other people cannot, you should be painting that picture. You should take plenty. We have a Vegas event coming up. Let me pull this up here really quick. Um, pull that up. Hold on a minute. Let me remove that one. Show that one. All right, we have a Vegas event coming up. If you haven't bought your ticket, get your ticket uh, to that event. All right, the little pop up box is there. You're able to hang out with six and seven figure income earners. You're able to meet the people that you see online. You're able to hang out with the team members. It's nothing like the live experience, guys. Nothing like the live experience. So if you go to the team site and click on bonuses, um, you have Camtasia Studio 7 here, okay? So what you need to do is download that and then put in the license key. Do not upgrade it first. Upgrade it after you put in the license key. This is a legit copy. This is not, you know, some hack copy or some, you know, torrent. This is the real deal. Um, we have academic licenses, and it's the real deal. It's legit. So download it, put the license key in, and that's going to allow you to record videos that show your screen like what I'm showing you right now. If you want to do something like that. Also, if you do do videos um, showing screens, do not show um, stuff that's in, on our training website. Do not do a video showing stuff that's on our training website because it's copyrighted stuff and we don't want people going in trying to steal content and, and you know, it's legal stuff. We don't want to do that. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, you want to get to the event. 
because you're able to hang out, you're able to take lifestyle photos, you're able to do a whole lot of stuff, and it's nothing like that camaraderie that you get when you're live and meet somebody in person versus seeing somebody online. It's a completely different experience, I'm telling you. You're able to really meet people and see how down to earth people really are. You're able to experience the heartbeat of the company, the heartbeat of the people you're working with, guys. It's nothing like that. So if you can get to Vegas, I mean, I know it's a week away, probably the last minute for a lot of you all. Some of you all are still thinking about it. It's nothing to think about. Get there. Uh, I'm not suggesting that you take your rent or your mortgage money to get there. Don't do that because I don't want you to be homeless because you can't live with me. Um, but if you're able to come, guys, get to the event. It's going to change your life, I'm telling you. Um, but with that being said, I think I am done uh, for the most part with this, guys. And I send these videos and stuff to my mailing list as well. Okay, so I can show them, hey, I'm not just all about sales, sales, sales. I'm actually giving you something that can propel you, that can empower you, that can motivate you, that will inspire you, so on and so forth. So I kind of went fast. Um, but. Do you don't see the license key? The license key is inside the zip file. Let me show you right now. Okay. Uh, let me go back there. Unit. Oh, that's a large file. But I think I have it on my desktop. Let me see here. Uh, where is it at? Camtasia, Camtasia. Here it is. Okay, so basically what you want to do is click on Camtasia. It opens a folder. All right, then you want to open a folder. And it's, as you can see, you have the file here, which is it only works on Windows. Here's what you need to install. Here's the license keys. Click on that, and it has the license keys here. You can use any one of those, okay? And they'll work. You just choose one, and it'll work, okay? That simple. It's inside the zip file. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Where's... Let me stop this. All right. So do anyone have any questions? I'm going to try to answer some really quick. Um, like I said, guys, the training website and stuff is going to be revamped. It's going to a new platform. We're going to have a fast track section. I know we've been talking about that a while. Uh, but I had to reorganize my life <laughs> and hire an, an assistant. I have a lovely assistant. She is awesome. I have a couple, actually, and now I'm able to really focus more on the creative side of things to really help you all um, take your business to the next level, be more efficient with what we're doing, okay? All right, if you cannot upgrade Camtasia, don't worry about upgrading. You're not missing anything with the upgrade anyway, guys. Camtasia 7 is just as good. Um, you're not missing anything. Just work with that. Um, yeah, I heard, uh, is it true, Aweber works better with Gmail? I heard it does. Um, through my testing, it does. It seems like Get response now is going to spam because there's so many marketers that have switched to get response now, and now um, ISPs are blocking the emails from get response now. So that's pretty weird in some cases. Camtasia is a screen sharing software that allows you to show your screen. Okay, screen recorder software. Yvonne got that. So, any questions?
if you cannot log into the, the UOP system, um, for some reason, a lot of you all are forgetting your passwords. Please, by all means, stop trying to be creative with these passwords. <laughs> you know, use the ones you normally use for everything else, okay? Uh, no need to be creative and fancy with the passwords. Uh, if you forget for whatever reason, click on the forgot password button and check your spam folder. Now, whenever I click on this, I get an email. So you see, I'm going to do it now. Okay, because I forgot my password. Then click reset. All right, then I'm going to head over here to Gmail and see if it comes. And watch it don't come. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, well, it didn't come. See, it never comes live. Okay, and if the email does not come for whatever reason, which mine didn't, so I'm going to have to figure out why that didn't come. You want to click on contact us and then fill out this information, put a subject, forgot password, you know, tell us your name, your username for the marketing system, and um, my assistant will reset your password for you. All right. Um, it may take up to 24 hours because we don't check those emails but once a day uh, but once you do that you will get your password reset all right and keep trying to forgot password a thing I'm gonna get that fixed try to anyway uh, so that you all can do it that way that'll be a whole lot easier because it's obviously not working All right, so hopefully I don't see any questions here that people are not already answering, which is good. So hopefully that helps you all out on the affiliate side um, here tonight. I felt compelled to train on the affiliate side tonight. I'm not going to talk too much about eBay and stuff like that because we do that stuff on Wednesdays. All right, Wednesday, Roger teaches about eBay and, and stuff like that, so there's no sense for me to rehash uh, that this week uh, we need to talk about uh, stuff to help you build your business on the affiliate side because that's going to give you more leverage than anything. Um, and again, you can make a, a whole lot of money, okay, through the efforts of other people. So you can easily, so you can either try to build your business yourself, you know, sign, you know, sell a, a million items on eBay and get rich, or you can leverage the efforts of other people, show them how to make money on eBay. Five hundred to a thousand dollars a week, or five hundred to a thousand dollars a month. You know, you build a team of a thousand people, and everybody is doing that. You know, how much money are you making at that point? You're probably making anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars a month um, at that point, um, depending on how your team is structured. So that gives you that leverage. So, with that being said, uh, I am going to end this webinar. Yes, it is being recorded. And I will see you all in the Facebook group. If you have any questions, ask in the Facebook group. Um, keep in mind that if you have not got access to this system, um, contact your sponsor. All right. If your sponsor don't have it, uh, send an email to uh, the support in the marketing system, and we'll check to see if you're on our team and then send you the information. Also, make sure that if you have any questions, um, you ask in the Facebook group first. Don't come to me directly unless it's something that only I can answer. Uh, or if I sponsored you directly, then yeah, please come to me. If I sponsored you, come to me directly. But if you don't have a sponsor, go to your sponsor sponsor if you know who that is. If you don't, then you can come to me or ask uh, in the Facebook group. But for you other people, Please respect your sponsor and respect my time. Not saying that I don't love you all, but it's just getting ridiculous. Some of you all are skipping over your sponsor, and they're active. They are amazing leaders themselves, and you're coming straight to me with, with these questions. <laughs> and it does, I cannot possibly answer all these inboxes. Okay, It's not going to happen. And I, at a point 
it, at, at one point I was trying to do that and I was almost killing myself. But I, I'm taking better care of myself right now and I cannot absolutely and would not stay on Facebook all night answering 200 inboxes. It doesn't make any sense. So use the Facebook group. Keep it positive. Don't come in there asking how to quit. Just send a support ticket to DS Domination. We don't tell people how to quit. And get with your sponsor. You all have amazing leaders. If you don't know who that is, then ask me. I'll find out. All right? Or get with their sponsor. Sponsor. There's always someone there to help you. And that Facebook group helps all of us, not just me, but it helps all of us because we all cannot be available all the time for you. It's not possible. We will not have a life. So we are not available. You can ask a question in the Facebook group, and guess what? Someone will respond almost immediately in most cases um, when we cannot respond, when we're out with our family and when we're on vacation or whatever it is, guys. So I uh, love you all. You all have a good night, and hopefully that helped you all out on the affiliate side. So that's all I did, guys. I'm telling you uh, to make the money that I make right now. That's all I did. That's all I do. I don't do a whole lot of paid traffic now. It's all about consistency and repetition, guys. Take massive action. Do what the people um, aren't doing who are not successful. Alright? And oh, I keep switching back to Facebook like you all can see what I'm saying. But I'm going to show you this one last example, then I'm going to end the webinar. And I'm going to show you an example, and I'm going to try to do this in a way that's respectful and not <laughs> dissing anybody. Um, but I'm going to see if I can find somebody here. Um, I'm pretty sure I will when I get off the webinar. All right, but it's all about massive action. Uh, let me see here. I always see this dude stuff. Um, all right, so here's the thing. Number one, two things. Don't be cussing, even if you cuss and stuff like that, guys. Don't be doing it all on your Facebook wall, guys. You want to be... <laughs> cussing folks out, talking about smoking blunts, pokes and pictures with blunts in your mouth, you know, booty shorts, you know, cut off shirts. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Okay, you want to be in a place to where you attract everybody. You don't want to be one-dimensional in marketing to where you only attract, you know, one um, set of people, which could probably going to be the wrong people if you're doing all that type of stuff. You want to be in a place to where you're not, a, I mean, you are going to offend some people regardless of what you do, but if you are professional all the time, you're going to appeal to the thugs and the weed heads and the business-oriented people as well. And you're not, you know, so make sure you have that balance. But also what I'm trying to say is uh, look at the people who are doing business who are not successful, who are not really making money. Look at what they're doing. And it, it really boils down to a few things, guys, and this is real talk. Um, a, this person is all over the place. They promote a new business every day, every single week, or every month. Um, B, they're not consistent enough. They only post them one or two times on social media. And social media is powerful, guys. It's powerful, and it's free, okay? If you can learn, I mean, it's nothing wrong with paid advertising. That's why we have a co-op. But also, you still don't want to forget about the free stuff unless you just don't have time to do it. Um, but the stuff I showed you how to do doesn't require a whole lot of time at all, really. Uh, but if you look at what they're doing, guys, they're not really doing much of anything. Just talking, you know, loud bark, you know, <laughs> loud bark, small bite, okay? Uh, that's pretty much all they're doing. They're not really consistent at all with what they're doing. So they're all over the place. They're not consistent. They're not focused. And they're not taking massive action. Do the complete opposite. Go go ham, like the kids say. Go crazy. Go hard. Take massive action. Um, ask for testimonials. If you work your business in the beginning, especially when you first got started and you don't feel like you did some work, 
you probably didn't do no work. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it real. You didn't. Especially if you knew, you should feel like you actually done some work. And what I do every single day, I have a to-do list of things I'm going to do. And that to-do list consists of things that are going to make me money. And also, it consists of other things, like the maintenance stuff and the admin stuff. But the things that are going to make me money are always first on that to-do list. They're always first. And I don't end my day. I don't go to sleep until those things are done. And these things done consistently over time, guys, will make you a fortune online. So, with that being said, I'm signing off. You all have a good night. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.